the way that I look at it is uh, just on a list of like the top 50 search terms. So, um, that's that's really what we concentrate on because then we that helps us do all of the different categories. Um, so as a businessman, yeah, what I want to know is there's a difference between say if teen is the most popular category, yeah, then um, but the, the, the it's the difference between how popular a category it is and how well that category is being satisfied by the marketplace. Mm. Because you could find a category right way down here, like, like yeah, what I've been searching for is like vomit lately. I know that yeah. sounds cool. <laughs> But I mean, for all, actually that's illegal, so let's not yeah. talk about that. Um, <laughs> all right, let's just say rough sex. Okay, yeah. rough sex down there. So it's possible that, that the difference between teen and how much it's satisfied is like so close that the people can beat the hell out of each other trying to do yeah. teen movies so you can't make any money there, but the difference between rough sex videos and, and how many people are making them is yeah. like so great that that's where you can make money. Yeah, for sure, so because the, the click-through ratios on, on the banners, um, when you get into more, more niche type content, yeah. you get less views of for your sure, content, but views. you get a lot more uh, a lot more clicks on your banner, a lot more direct type-ins, and your conversion ratio from uh, free visitor to member is a lot is a lot better. Um, like say one in eighty, one in a hundred, where a teen site may be one in a thousand visitors, right. because it, it's more niche. People they they're searching for for a particular niche because they they really want to to look at that. Does does that mean though that there's like few, not enough stuff in that niche? Yeah. Well, it doesn't mean there's there's not a not yeah, enough. Not there's enough. Yeah, the the right. teen space and the milf space is crowded, um, as, as you can imagine. But the the more niche providers, the the more niche producers are doing really really well because they're they're providing for a particular niche, and not everybody would be into that niche. And the people that are are generally um, they generally pay for for a membership. So. Yeah. Do you miss? I'm sorry. You missed my point. My point is that I want to find the niche that's underserved. Yeah. That's the that's the one that you know. It's like when I tell you the, the number one niche at the moment that, that's underserved is massage, uh, sensual erotic massage content. Well, that's why you're in it, right? Yeah. You're I launch a new yeah massagerooms.com launches you know in that. about you're ten not days. Tell me what all the underserved ones. I can't. Are I, you want to make the money. I, I will make. <laughs> just makes me produce better content with the with the competition. You know. So. Yeah. Now trends have changed with the girls with the years. Is there a, u a way for you to see what's next, or is it like um, going? What's going to be popular soon? We we can we run uh, a lot of um, different algorithms on our site, so we 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 can tell where a user is going to be heading, what niche they're likely to go into, mm -hmm. um, and just looking at the search terms, um, we we can identify if there's a trend happening. Uh, we use Twitter. Uh, to see what what is trending, um, so yeah, all of the information is out there for everybody to see. It's just just how you read that in, information and how you implement it. So, uh, it's, yeah, you can identify where where people are heading and what people are looking for. Like he said, uh, that information that you can gather from the smaller niches that are are uh, underserved. That's pretty powerful information. Yeah. I mean, you could you could potentially start a lot of really great successful companies. Yeah, we, um, that's, that's what we did. We sold YouPorn in, in May last year and I went straight into a production company. So I started a production company, uh, Fake Agents, one of our site. We have Dane Jones, we have Lesbia, Public Agent, because the reality content is just, it's amazing. The users just love anything reality, like a, a casting couch, scenarios. Uh, and like um, sex outside, they, they just fake love it. Fake agent casting couch. Is there a theme going on here? Oh. Yeah, fake agent, <laughs> female agent, public agent. The and we're launching a lot of agent sites uh, throughout this year. So. Well, I think it's I think it's easier for the user to put themselves in that position. Yeah. As soon as you see reality, you can say, oh, there's this one time I had a really hot real estate agent, yeah. and I would have loved if she would have done something dirty with me. So I think that, you know, the reality thing just yeah, seems to make perfect experience. sense. Have you? Yeah. I have that experience all the well, time. I like the way they talk about money and stuff like that. Yeah. Makes like you hungry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I guess I like women that have a brain or something. And, and Intelligence is very them, sexy. Yeah. This is your largest sex organ, so what well, makes sense? Really? This intelligence. Yes. I have a picture of this. I don't know, I don't think we can show it here, but it's a shot that somebody sent to my magazine where 
of Belladonna's head is going up Brooklyn Lee's butt with her, oh, her, that's, li her largest sex organ is being used on her asshole. That's there. crazy. I don't think we can I don't, show that. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that before. I haven't either, but I edit a magazine and a lot of weird people send stuff in. It, uh, it almost the, looks uh, like she's birthing her out of her butt. Yes. If only yes. you could see this. She's <laughs> fucking her with her largest sex organ. <laughs> and that's her largest sex organ. Did her you brain. show this to I have shown this to Brooklyn. I sent it to him. Um, this is actually, I actually took a pic, whatever the fuck. I'm, <laughs> I figured out how to send it to her, which is, I thought I was brilliant. I took a picture of the picture and then I attached it and whatever. I don't know how these things work that well. Oh. Figuring it out. You know, what's crazy is how the kids today know technology like crazy. Is yes. there, is there things that you're doing uh, as far as moving forward with technology and all the information that you have? Because I know day. technology is... Yeah. growing so rapidly and and especially in the youth who are shortly to become you know the adults yeah. uh, they have a ridiculous sense for today's technology yeah. and I'm sure they're gonna find all types of new ways to yeah, find their the, porn. The future definitely is uh, mobile tablets iPads um, <laughs> and even we were speaking earlier about IPTV the sure. the new tellers are all coming web connected um, right. So yeah, the, the tube sites will always remain um, on your desktop, on the, on the internet, uh, accessing it through, through the big screen, but um, mobile, all the smart devices, that's, that's, that's where it's happening because it's with you all the time. Mm -hmm. So people, they, they tend to come on to, onto the tube sites, onto YouPorn, on Pornhub, on PornTube, on 4Tube, uh, just when it's convenient to them. And when you've got that in your pocket with the, with the new mini iPad, is just perfect. Because makes we're, it, we're seeing a, a big increase. It makes it much uh, more convenient for public yeah. restrooms. Oh, for sure. Yeah, totally. Porn, right. porn on yeah. the go. <laughs> <laughs> you have access to oh, yeah, all you the can. categories okay. and to all I'm going to check you yeah. inadvertently. But which one do you prefer? The mini iPad is, is say, what so I like. You're saying people are going to public restrooms to jerk off the porn on a, a mini iPad instead yeah. of trying to pick up the guy in the next stall? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't know. The world's changing. <laughs> the world is changing. What's happening to the glory hole? So sad. Yes. Well, technology yeah, is making us with a little sore anymore. No. Yeah. No, we're we're yeah. we're upgrading. This yeah, is an upgraded upgrading. experience. Yes. We're well, getting all these technology is making us antisocial. What is your idea on um, like interactive rooms? Like PlayStation had that world, PlayStation yeah. world about a world where you can have sex in. Well, I think uh, like on a virtual world of meeting that's, I think that's things. why cams have exploded over the last like three, four, five years, um, and they just keep growing like all day, every day, um, picking up new members. That's why when you go on the on the tubes, the pop unders you're going to get are for cam sites because people want the live interaction, and I think that's why uh, live Gonzo is going to be such a, a success. Um, knowing. Uh, learning what I've learned over the, the past four or five days um, of just the, the journey you guys are going to be taking. It's uh, live is definitely where, where the industry is, is heading. Hey guys, it is Tori Black and I'm here with some beautiful young ladies mm -hmm. here at the 2013 AVN Awards with Live Gonzo coming to you. I'm very excited about today and the, the day is coming ahead because we have some big people we're going to interview. So we have, on my right side, we have the beautiful Alexa Nicole. Hi everyone. And on my left side we have somebody new, Charlie Monroe. Hi guys. So, my first question is how long have you been in the business? Four years. Oh wow! Yeah, it's been a while. It just creeped up on me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, um, uh, have you always done boy girl? Or did you start with girl girl? Uh, how did you begin? Oh, I started off hardcore. I put wow. everything on my list. A girl after my own heart. Oh yes. Okay, now how old are you? I'm 20. Okay, so you really are the baby. Okay. I really am the baby. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, now what got you into the industry? It was just kind of a spontaneous idea. I think that happens to most people. That was definitely, I think it took me about a week to make the decision. I, yeah, I was like, huh, what about porn? Okay, let's go. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is for me, too. <laughs> you have to be a okay. little crazy to do it anyway. So. Now, now, what made you come up with your name? Well, Marilyn Monroe is one of my favorite women. Okay. You know, not just for her beauty, but because she, she just had so many good quotes and things. So, <laughs> Sassy. Good. And very good sassy, statement. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then Charlie liked it because it was kind of unisex. So oh, okay, uh, beautiful. Let's take care of our fans. All right, sounds Thank good. Thank you all for the Tony Black flashlight. Oh, come on, Holic. Well, you know, you got hooked up because that's the best flashlight. Let me just say, I'm not going to toot my own horn too much. <laughs> 
but I'm going to toot it a little bit. <laughs> um, you got the creme de la creme, and Raul's the best. He's pretty awesome. Well, it's really great to be able to bring AVN to you live. Um, uh, this is the first time I've ever heard of anybody going live from here. I, I mean, I know that you know people take footage and put it up later, but um, I think this is absolutely incredible, especially because we get to interact with you and introduce you to so many people that are on the floor. When when you convince Flashlight, who is the com the best male toy company on the planet, to join us to help us, this is the secret of the business: is that you need help from partners yes. to help you in your venture. Strength in numbers. Strength in numbers. So when you, when you get uh, such a partner to help you to broadcast something because you deliver a traffic, like everything comes down for the, the way how you deliver and you convey your product. And our product is sex. Yes. You scratch my back and I'll scratch yours. I think that, especially in our line of work, it's definitely a you please me, I please you kind of situation. So um, fans, you play an integral role in, in everything that we do. If, if we don't take care of you, then you're not going to take care of us. But likewise, if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be who I am today. So it's definitely great that Live Gonzo is doing everything they can to show that all their fan appreciation. And of course, it comes back to you. Karma. Karma is a great thing, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Launched August, end of August 2006. Then we went viral uh, around about November, okay. um, which meant that uh, people started typing in Newport to their to their browsers. So okay. it was just word of mouth. We didn't do any advertising, didn't buy any traffic. Um, and we went viral around about November, and by March 2007, uh, I think at that point we had about 15 million visitors a month. That's absolutely fucking incredible. Yeah. Well, that, that, we thought that was incredible. Um, we didn't know where it was going to stop. Uh, and then when we sold YouPorn last May, we had 370 million visitors a month to the, to the site. Okay, let's take a second to fathom that number. 370 million. Am I correct? Yeah. I'm correct. 370 million people. Okay, so now what country is equal to that size? What country? I don't even, I don't even know my geography like that. But I know that there are countries that um, have less than that. Yeah. So we're, we're talking entire countries have, have of more. people.